A Journey Around the Rivers of America and Europe, Part 3 A Journey Around the Rivers of America and Europe, Part 3 Table of Contents A Look at European River Cruises on the Rhine, Danube, Seine, Elba, and Volga Rivers Cruises in the U.S. and Canada include the Mississippi, Columbia, and St. Lawrence Rivers and the Great Lakes. Cruises on the Amazon in South America. Dr. Sidney Socloff. Dr. Sidney22 at gmail.com. 2023. Narration by Dr. Sidney Socloff. Zoe Phonemes. And Nathan Coltov. For a complete discussion of YouTube navigation, please go to tiny.one slash YT Navigator. The Grand European Tour, Amsterdam to Budapest. The cruise between Amsterdam and Budapest is a two-week cruise on three rivers and two canals. The three rivers are the Rhine, Main, and Danube. The two canals are the Main-Danube Canal, and the very short Amsterdam-Rhine Canal. Another cruise possibility is the longer three-week cruise between Amsterdam and Bucharest. As an example, this is the first three days of the itinerary of the Viking Grand European Tour. A scenic highlight of this part of the cruise is the picturesque Grand Valley between Koblenz and Mainz. Berg Rheinstein is the first castle to be rebuilt in the 19th century. 
This is the Middle Rhine Valley at Kalb. These are the fourth, fifth, and sixth days of the cruise along the Rhine past Koblenz, and then on the Main River past Miltenberg and Wurzburg. And it is on the Main Danube Canal to Regensburg on the Danube. Passau on the Danube is at the confluence with the Inn River. Melk is the famous monastery on a hill overlooking the Danube. This is the beautiful Vejau Valley between Melk and Vienna in Austria. Vienna is an overnight stop with two full days to visit the city. Then it is only an overnight cruise to Budapest for an overnight stay and the end of the cruise. The Rhine is one of Europe's longest rivers at 1233 kilometers or 766 miles. The Rhine begins in the Swiss Alps and forms part of the borders between Switzerland, Austria, Liechtenstein, and Germany. The Rhine then makes a sharp bend northward at Basel to become the border between France and Germany. After flowing through the Rhineland of Germany, the Rhine enters the Netherlands. There it divides into several branches and finally exits into the North Sea near Rotterdam. Together with its largest tributaries, the Main and Mosel, the Rhine is by far the most significant river route in Europe. It originates in the Swiss Alps at Lake Toma at an elevation of 2,344 meters or 7,690 feet. After the Rhine leaves the Switzerland-Liechtenstein border, it becomes the border between Switzerland and Austria. It then enters the Bodensee, known in English as Lake Constance, with Germany on the north. When the Rhine emerges from Lake Constance, it goes over the Rhine Falls and then makes a sharp bend north at the so-called Rhine at Basel. The Rhine can be divided into these four distinct and very different regions. 1. The Alpine Rhine from the source of the river in the High Alps to Basel. 2. The Upper Rhine from Basel to the Main River near Mainz. 3. The picturesque Middle Rhine from Mainz to Culm. And 4. The busy and heavily industrialized Lower Rhine from Culm to the North Sea at Rotterdam. The name Rhine comes from the Celtic word Rhinos, which literally means that which flows. Germany's best known river, the Rhine has approximately 40 tributaries from its source to its mouth. The Rhine's source is in the Swiss mountains, and the river flows north along the French-German border, into Germany to its mouth in the Netherlands. The main tributaries of the Rhine are the Mosel that flows from France to join the Rhine at Koblenz. The Main that flows westwards by Bamberg, Wurzburg, and near Frankfurt to join the Rhine near Mainz. And the Neckar that flows northward past Stuttgart and Heidelberg to meet the Rhine at Mannheim. We will next have some short video clips of cruises on the Rhine. Rhine Getaway Itinerary from Viking River Cruises our Rhine Getaway Itinerary presents all the highlights of the legendary Rhine in just eight days. Your journey begins in timeless Amsterdam. Soak in rich colours amid the stained glass of Cologne's Gothic Cathedral. Explore the mighty Ehrenbreitstein Fortress that overlooks Koblenz and enjoy an evening stroll along the cobblestones of Rudesheim. With dawn comes Speyer, a quaint German town on the Rhine's west bank, where you can marvel at the architectural splendor of the city's Romanesque cathedral. Strasbourg, France follows with its timeless old town, while Germany's Black Forest region is rich in history and culture. Your voyage concludes in the pretty city of 
Basel, Switzerland. Cruise the Rhine River with the Ammer Waterways. We couldn't wait to set sail on our river cruise with Alma Waterways. The Rhine River is so beautiful, and you get to discover all the history and wonder of four different countries. There's so much to see and do. And just these moments that we had, we know we'll cherish forever. Everything about it, the luxury, the service, the wonderful dining, and of course, the amazing sights. It was definitely the trip of a lifetime. Here's to the memories we made, the ones that will always stay with us. Experience Ryan River Cruises with Avalon Waterways. Winding through some of the most picturesque landscapes in Europe, the Rhine is known as the Romantic River. Think hillsides dotted with castles and fortresses, cobblestoned medieval villages, cuckoo clocks, and the legendary Black Forest, the setting of the fairy tales from the Brothers Grimm. Here you can treat yourself to a delectable piece of Black Forest cherry cake. While any romantic would be delighted by a Rhine cruise, food and wine lovers, history fans, and nature enthusiasts will also find plenty to stay enthralled. Beginning in Switzerland, an Avalon journey could have you start by exploring bustling Zurich and enjoying an excursion to quaint, historic Lucerne. Then, where three different countries and cultures merge, you'll step aboard your cruise ship and your Rhine River experience will begin. Along your voyage, you might stop in Strasbourg, France, the capital of the Alsace region and home to its delectable wines and enchanting Christmas markets. The university city of Heidelberg, with its awe-inspiring panoramic views and its famous Heidelberg Castle, will be a treat for you and your camera. In Mainz, you'll take in the treasures of the Gutenberg Museum, where you can see the original Gutenberg Bible. In Rudersheim, you can relax with a coffee tasting or visit a museum celebrating the origins of recorded music. Next, your cruise could have you winding the breathtaking Rhine Gorge boasting constant castles and vineyards. For a truly magical moment, imagine hearing the famous legend of Lorelei, where a mermaid is said to have lured fishermen with her intoxicating song as your ship cruises past the rock. In the vibrant city of Cologne, you can take in the world-famous Cologne Cathedral, the 12 Romanesque churches, or the many scenic bridges before you sail into the Netherlands, home to vibrant fields, iconic windmills, and rich history. Your cruise will then take you to Amsterdam, where you can get a taste of true Dutch life as you stroll the canals admiring the art and architecture and take in the entire community filled with bike riders. Amsterdam's many museums house some of the most famous art in the world, including works from Van Gogh and Rembrandt. The Danube. This is the beautiful Vechau Valley on the Danube between Melk and Vienna in Austria. The Danube River is the second largest river in Europe after the Volga. The Danube flows for 2,860 kilometers, or 1,780 miles from the Black Forest of southeastern Germany eastward to the Black Sea. It is more than twice as long as the Rhine which is 1233 kilometers long. 
The Danube is the only river in Europe that flows from west to east and is navigable from Ulm in Germany to the Black Sea. The Danube River is an important international waterway, flowing through or forming a part of the borders of Germany, Austria, Slovakia, Hungary, Croatia, Serbia, Bulgaria, and Romania. Principal cities on or near the Danube are Regensburg, Passau, Vienna, Bratislava, Budapest, and Belgrade. Bucharest is close to, but not on, the Danube. The Danube serves as an important transportation corridor by linking the Black Sea to Western Europe, all of the way to the port of Rotterdam on the North Sea via the Main Danube Canal. We will next have some short video clips of cruises on the Danube. This is the Romantic Danube itinerary from Viking. This beguiling eight-day itinerary showcases some of the Danube River's favorite cities, plus legendary landscapes along the way. Your journey begins with an overnight in Budapest, Hungary. Known as the Paris of the East, the impressive architecture and culture are sure to draw you in. Next up, Vienna, Austria's capital and its fascinating cultural treasures, where you'll enjoy another overnight stay. Then it's on to Gürtweig Abbey, a Viking exclusive, where monks work and worship just as they have for more than 900 years. You'll sail on to enchanting Passau, Germany, a quaint town that in ancient times was once a Roman colony. Your Viking journey concludes with an overnight in charming Regensburg, giving you plenty of time to explore the heart of its medieval city center, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Next will be the Danube River cruise vacations from Avalon Waterways. Fascinated by new cultures and experiences, then an Avalon cruise along the Danube will keep you enthralled. This is Europe's grand voyage and the world's most international river. Spanning across all of Central and Eastern Europe, the Danube passes through 10 countries and four capital cities. Just imagine the unique experience of sampling the wonderful diversity of food, architecture, history, and traditions that you'll discover along the way. Depending on which of our Danube cruises you choose, your discovery could include beautiful Regensburg, Germany. Imagine being surrounded by the Germany of 100 years ago as you gaze upon the amazing cathedral here. Or picture yourself sipping a world-famous German beer and enjoying authentic German cuisine in a beer garden. Downstream, you'll come upon the peninsula of Passau, where the confluence of three rivers gives this city a truly unique setting that's as picturesque as any you'll encounter in Europe. The lush, rolling green hills along the Danube let you know you're now in the famed Wachau region, where wine connoisseurs will delight in sampling some of Austria's most prized wines. Imagine sipping a refreshing Gruner Wettliner on the steep, stony slopes overlooking the Danube. You might take in milk and the Baroque splendor of its Benedictine Abbey, just one of the many monasteries you can visit. Its renowned library lets you step back in time as you gaze upon an amazing collection of books and manuscripts from as far back as 1500 AD. In the picturesque town of Dernstein, you can hike up to the ruins of the medieval castle where Richard the Lionheart was held captive. Next, you could find yourself exploring the streets of Vienna, the city of music. Walk in the footsteps of composers like Mozart and Strauss. Have your piece of Zacha Torta and visit a cafe in the former capital of the Habsburg Empire. Then enjoy Bratislava, the little cousin of Vienna and the capital and cultural center of Slovakia. The town has blossomed since the fall of the Iron Curtain with its museums, outdoor cafes, and lush green parks. Next up, you'll sail into Budapest and admire the mighty Hungarian parliament from your ship as you enter the city. Another captivating stop is beautiful and diverse Croatia. With its rich history, delicious cuisine, 
fine wines and friendly people. Further south into revitalized Eastern Europe, the Danube winds into Serbia, allowing you to explore the historic town of Novi Sad, as well as the capital city of Belgrade, full of lively pedestrian areas and mighty fortresses. Sailing on, you'll be amazed by the dramatic narrow gorges of the famed Iron Gates, lined with ancient Roman ruins, separating Romania to your north and Serbia to your south. Your Danube journey could end with a grand finale at Bulgaria and Romania, shining examples of true Eastern Europe. Highlights include the ancient hilled capital of Veliko Tarnovo and its beautiful artwork. The fascinating city of Constanta and its impressive archaeological museum, or the bustling metropolis of Bucharest. Many itineraries even include a stay in Prague, the city of 100 spires, featuring fairy tale views of its 1,000 year old history. A Danube cruise brings you an East meets West experience unlike any other river can. The Seine. Normandy and Paris. The Seine isn't the largest river in Europe, or even France, but it may be the most renowned. This splendid waterway cuts through the heart of Paris, before winding its way to picturesque and historic Normandy. This is a map of a cruise on the Seine between Paris and Normandy. We will next have some short video clips of cruises on the Seine, including Normandy and Paris. This is the Seine River Cruises by Talk. Emerging in the Burgundy wine region of northeastern France, the River Seine flows through Paris and on to the Normandy coast. Since the Middle Ages, the Seine has been central to French life, culture and identity. As one of Europe's most romantic and inspiring rivers, this gently flowing river will capture your imagination. You will cruise the magical Seine on the MS Swiss Sapphire, custom built for Tauk to the highest standards. And with fewer passengers and a higher crew to passenger ratio than other riverboats, Tauk offers a more intimate club-like experience. And as spectacular as our riverboats are, Tauk's really stands apart with unmatched land experiences, all included in one upfront price. Your journey begins in Paris, including a choice of museum visits, an orientation guided tour, and free time to explore Parisian treasures as you wish. You will also have the choice of a walking tour of Hilltop Montmartre or Chateau de Versailles. Between Paris and the port city of La Havre, you will be immersed in the essence of France, including Rouen, the city of a hundred spires, picturesque Les Andelys, and the medieval ruins of Chateau Gaillard the charming seaside village of Enfleur, and the unforgettable D-Day landing beaches and American cemetery. Tauk goes far beyond the ordinary with uncommon access, a special early opening of Monet's Gardens in Giverny, a visit to a family farm in Normandy, and an unforgettable exclusive evening at a chateau owned by descendants of Napoleon. From the lights of Paris to the culinary delights and visual treats along the magnificent Seine, there's no better way to immerse yourself in the heart of France. Tauk offers four incredible journeys on the Seine from seven to 23 days. To learn more, see your travel agent or call Tauk today. This is a video on experience the gems of the Seine cruise. The Seine isn't the largest river in Europe, or even France, but it may be the most renowned, and for good reason. This splendid waterway cuts through the heart of Paris, before winding its way along some of the most celebrated sites in northern France. 
Day two sees the scenic gem glide gracefully through the Isle de France region to our first gem, Les Andelais. Free choice comes in the form of either a leisurely hike to King Richard the Lionheart's Chateau Galliard, or journey to Lyon's Le Forret, described as one of the most beautiful villages in France. On day three, you awake in Rouen. After a breakfast fit for king or queen, it's your chance to choose your own gems of the Seine adventure. Free choice means a walking tour of the region, where you'll absorb the most famous historic sites of Joan of Arc and the Rouen Cathedral, both with rich tapestries of history waiting to be unravelled. From Rouen, Free Choice takes you to the Somme battlefields for a poignant full-day excursion commemorating the hundred years since that horrific World War I battle which claimed the lives of more than 150,000 soldiers. It's a touching step back into time which is sure to elicit emotion within all who attend. After honouring the memory of those who fought so bravely all those years ago, a lighter start to day five, as you'll find yourself falling in love with the scenery while we cruise towards the English Channel. Later in the day, use your free choice option to explore en fleur at your leisure. You'll be delighted by its quaint architecture, relaxed coastal town atmosphere and kaleidoscope of colourful fishing boats. Morning six, and did we mention that the scenic gem is the only cruise ship that can sail all the way to Honfleur, making for a more direct trip to our next stop, the historic Normandy beaches. As you wander them, allow your mind to drift emotionally back in time and replay the D-Day landings exactly where they took place. Then, at the Landing Museum, you'll be immediately struck by the somber ambience surrounding the 9,387 graves of the Normandy Cemetery. As you depart the poignant scene, take some time to lighten your mood and walk Normandy's famous Calvados route, delighting in the many charming villages that adorn the landscape. After a touching day six, free choice on day seven presents a range of breathtaking options in Cordec. And to enrich your day's experience, enjoy a truly unforgettable evening in Focamp, a classical concert at the opulent Benedictine Palace. Day 8 sees your scenic gem cruise towards Vernon. It certainly isn't hard to see why this region of France inspired so many famed artists to produce some of their best work. Later in the day, Free Choice will see you stop at Giverny, where you'll gain entry to Monet's former residence and water lily gardens. As you relax on the morning of day nine, it won't be long before the distinctive architecture of the medieval town of Conflans comes into view. Free choice today means a trip to auvers sur oise where you'll see, among other things, the room of legendary artist Vincent van Gogh, or step inside Chantilly Castle for a guided tour of this remarkable chateau before walking its fairy tale parklands. And after a leisurely afternoon of cruising, where we encourage you to indulge in the scenic gems onboard amenities, the evening will see us embark on our return to the city of love, Paris, where a spectacular skyline awaits. And so, as we begin the final stop on our voyage through the gems of the Seine, it's only fitting that we spend one last full day in Paris. We hope that this trip has ignited your sense of wonder until next time, au revoir. Elba River Cruises This is a map of a nine-day cruise between Berlin and Prague, with Croisi Europe on the Havel, Elba and Voltava rivers. This is the elegant Elba cruise offered by Viking. Note that although it is described as from Berlin to Prague, part of it is by motor coach. Next we will have a short video on an elegant Elba itinerary from Viking River Cruises.
This 10-day itinerary displays the wonders of former East Germany and Prague jewel of the Czech Republic. Begin your trip with an overnight hotel stay in historic Berlin, with free time to see the Reichstag Parliament building, Brandenburg Gate, Checkpoint Charlie and Berlin Wall. Transfer to Magdeburg and set sail. Among the highlights of your cruise are Wittenberg, birthplace of Martin Luther and the Protestant Reformation, Meissen, the famed city of porcelain, and Dresden with its beautiful Baroque palaces. But this cruise along the Alba River offers more than just man-made beauty. You'll visit the sandstone mountains called Saxon Switzerland, and then leave your ship for a final overnight in enchanting Prague, where you can explore up close and in detail. Russia in St. Petersburg Russia, with its great rivers and vast distances, offers some great opportunities for river cruises, of which a popular one is between St. Petersburg and Moscow on the Neva, Svir, the Volga Baltic Canal, and the Volga River. We will next have some short video clips of cruises in Russia. This is the waterways of the Tsar's itinerary from Viking River Cruises. Explore Russia along the Volga and Svir rivers for 13 fascinating days. You'll experience the very best this vast country has to offer, including three night stays in both St. Petersburg and Moscow. In St. Petersburg, stroll the famed Peter and Paul Fortress, delve into art and architecture at the Hermitage Museum, exploring its very heart with Vikings' privileged access. Enjoy the grand halls and exquisite gardens of Catherine Palace and experience an entirely different style of living at a Soviet-era communal apartment, known as a Komunalka. In Moscow, step into history on Red Square. And next to it, the Kremlin with its towering golden domes. You may also want to take a ride on the beautiful Moscow Metro. On this voyage, you'll visit the Island Museum of Kiji with its historic wooden structures and religious icons as well as key cities of the Golden Ring, including Yaroslavl, one of Russia's oldest provincial cities, and Uglich, known for the Church of St. Dmitri on the Blood. In Uglich, Viking also opens doors for a taste of local life, with a visit to enjoy the hospitality of Russian people in their very own homes. Discover the soul of Russia in her majestic monuments and her warm, friendly people. You'll come away with a better understanding of this land, once hidden behind the Iron Curtain. Dabro Pajalovats! Welcome to Vikings Russia! This is Viking River Cruises, Google Russia. Viking River Cruises can show you the world. The only question, where do you want to go next? Come with us to a land of grand palaces, intrigue, and mystery. Russia, the country Winston Churchill called a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. Sail from St. Petersburg to Moscow on a breathtaking 13-day adventure. Experience legendary St. Petersburg rising from the banks of the Neva River. In 1703, Peter the Great transformed this marshy backwater into the envy of Europe. Today, it's as if you've stepped through the looking glass into a mythical place lost in time. And unlike an ocean cruise, Viking gives you three days to explore St. Petersburg. It's just the start of a remarkable cruise to Moscow. Sailing through the heart of Russia, a collection of quaint riverside towns await. Places like Kiji, the isolated island home of the last remaining wooden cathedral from the reign of Peter the Great. Built without a single nail, legend has it that once Kiji was finished, the artist heaved his axe into the lake, knowing he could never again create such perfection. 
Russia's renowned Golden Ring is home to the picturesque city of Yaroslavl, one-time capital and religious center. Walk in the footsteps of Russia's dramatic past as your Viking guides interpret the spectacular collection of architectural treasures that span nearly 600 years. In the midst of Russia's vast interior lies a mighty river, Mother Volga. Inspiration for the song of the Volga boatmen, sung long ago by workmen as they moved their barges. Explore this timeless landscape with Viking. Marvel at the region's immensity and listen for the haunting call of the boatmen. Of all of Russia's glorious river cities, none intrigues the imagination quite like Moscow. Renowned poet Alexander Pushkin wrote upon approach, in the shimmer of white walls and golden domes, Moscow lies great and splendid before us. Look closely, soak in the fascinating melange of colors and textures, and explore it all with Viking for nearly three days. Viking River Cruises will show you the Russia you've always longed to see. Sail her storied rivers aboard the best ships in Russia, completely refurbished. These are the only Western-owned and operated ships where all the staff are Viking employees. You'll enjoy award-winning service throughout your voyage, and with local guides in every port, there's never been a better time to explore this enigmatic land. Perhaps Mark Twain said it best. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did. River cruising close to home. The Silver Springs State Park is considered to be Florida's first tourist attraction dating back to the 1870s. It is on the Silver River just east of Ocala. The park contains Silver Springs. Nature's Fairyland, Silver Springs, Florida. This is a vintage travel pamphlet published in Ocala by the Silver Springs Transportation Company, circa 1914. This is a vintage Florida attractions map. This is a vintage 1950s postcard of the glass bottom boats at Silver Springs. This is the entrance sign at the Silver Springs State Park. This shows the location of the Silver Springs State Park, just six miles east of Ocala on State Highway 40, just past Highway 35. In 1985, the state purchased the land surrounding Silver Springs to spare it from development, creating the Silver River State Park. In 1993, the state acquired Silver Springs as well. Though it continued to be operated privately in 2013, the state took over control of Silver Springs, merging it with the adjacent parkland to create Silver Springs State Park. These are glass bottom boats at the head spring area of Silver Springs. This is underwater viewing on a glass bottom boat. This is the Silver River in the park. The Silver River flows into the Oklawaha River and the St. Johns River to the Atlantic Ocean near Jacksonville. This is a steamboat and railroad at Silver Springs in 1886. Steamboats ran on the river from 1873 to 1919. This is a map of the Heartline steamboat route from Silver Springs on the Silver River through the Oklahoma River and the St. Johns River to Palatka, which connects to Jacksonville and the Atlantic Ocean. This is a photograph showing a steamboat on the Oklawaha River in Silver Springs in 1902. This is the river ship Barbara Lee on Lake Monroe in Sanford. It is operated by the St. John's River Ship Company. 
the Barbara Lee sails daily from Sanford on Lake Monroe and up the St. John's River. The legendary Barbara Lee accommodates 194 guests and is one of only a half dozen steamboats still operating in Florida. The St. John's River is Florida's longest river at 310 miles, starting inland in Indian River County, the Vero Beach area, and ending at the Atlantic Ocean in Jacksonville. It's a unique river for this part of the world in that it flows north. Albeit the flow is very slow. The drop in elevation over those 310 miles is less than 30 feet and the flow is less than 0.3 miles per hour. Many lakes are formed along the way, and there are several natural springs flowing into it. The river has a long history of commercial and recreational use, and many cities along the way. Today, it's navigable and maintained from Sanford to Jacksonville. This is Sanford. Lake Monroe, and the St. John's River flowing north out of Lake Monroe. This is the north-central area of Florida showing Sanford and Lake Monroe. This is the river ship Barbara Lee that I took a day cruise on Lake Monroe and the St. John's River from Sanford. This is an eight-day cruise on St. John's River offered by the American Cruise Lines. Round trip from Jacksonville on the American Star. The Mississippi River. The two major cruise lines that offer cruises on the Mississippi River are the American Queen Steamboat Company and the American Cruise Lines. Soon to be joined by Viking Cruise Lines. This is a map showing the ports of call of the American cruise lines along the full length of the Mississippi River. These are the ships of the American cruise lines that ply the waters of the Mississippi River. This is the map and itinerary of the American cruise lines lower Mississippi River cruise. This is the map and itinerary of the American cruise lines upper Mississippi River cruise. These are the ships of the American Queen Steamboat Company that ply the waters of the Mississippi River. This is a map showing the ports of call of the American Queen Steamboat Company along the full length of the Mississippi River. This is the Viking Mississippi of the Viking Cruise Lines that is scheduled to be on the Mississippi River in 2022. It will be a newly built ship that will accommodate 386 passengers. We will next have some short video clips of cruises on the Mississippi River. This is a short video on the Mississippi River Paddle Wheelers by American Cruise Lines. Join American Cruise Lines for a personalized cruise experience aboard the Mississippi River's two newest paddle wheelers. These magnificent riverboats combine 21st century technology with stunning 19th century grandeur to offer guests the most comfortable river cruises in the world. Discover the history and culture of the mighty Mississippi while cruising the waters of this legendary river. Join us for a one, two, or three week cruise with itineraries spanning the complete length of the river from New Orleans, Louisiana to St. Paul, Minnesota. Along the way, enjoy daily stops at historic American destinations and enlightening presentations from captivating onboard experts. Cruise the lower Mississippi River from New Orleans or Memphis. Enjoy guided shore excursions to Civil War battlefields in Vicksburg, plus a grand tour of the famous Rosedown Plantation and Oak Alley Plantation. Experience the allure of the French Quarter and taste the Cajun cuisine of New Orleans. Get your camera ready to explore the dramatic landscapes of the Upper Mississippi River, which have inspired some of America's greatest artists and writers. Visit the communities of Red Wing, La Crosse, Dubuque, and Davenport. 
along with a visit to Mark Twain's boyhood home of Hannibal, Missouri. Join us on the top deck as we pass through a series of river locks to gently lower the ship more than 600 feet as we cruise between St. Paul, Minnesota and St. Louis, Missouri. The accommodations aboard all our ships are among the largest in the industry, with staterooms ranging from 300 to 600 square feet. Every stateroom offers a private view and most feature private balconies with large sliding glass doors to provide your personal cruising sanctuary. Your ship also features several elegant lounges throughout the vessel, a grand dining room, and meals using fresh local resources and made to order by our culinary masters. Enjoy delightful American fare with a regional twist based on your cruise and local delicacies. After dinner, join your fellow passengers on the upper deck where you'll find comfortable lounge chairs, an exercise area, and the putting green with a magnificent view of the passing scenery. American Cruise Lines offers more than 10 cruises on the Mississippi River and over 30 unique cruise itineraries throughout the United States. Enjoy the relaxed atmosphere and personalized service of American Cruise Lines. These are your American rivers. This is your American Cruise Lines. Request a free brochure today to learn more. This is a short video on the Upper Mississippi Cruises on the American Queen. Your nine-day cruise on the Mississippi River highlights St. Louis, Missouri, all the way to St. Paul, Minnesota. This journey begins in America's heartland, the gateway city, St. Louis. Explore Mark Twain's hometown of Hannibal and the sites that inspired his beloved American classics. Discover a unique history in the agricultural riverfront town of Clinton and tour one of two working Dutch windmills left in the United States. Behold the beautiful sights of Dubuque, one of the most picturesque riverfront towns on the Mississippi River. Stroll along the inviting river walk and through Riverside International Friendship Garden in La Crosse. While visiting Red Wing, tour the National Eagle Center in nearby Wabasha for an unforgettable experience with America's national symbol of freedom, the American Bald Eagle. Your cruise concludes in beautiful St. Paul, Minnesota. Gracious service and warm Southern hospitality from our all-American crew and staff, elegant accommodations, and authentic experiences. See why the American Queen has made river cruising a cherished American tradition for more than two centuries. Besides the Mississippi River, there are cruises on the Ohio and Tennessee rivers. This is an example of an 11-day cruise on the Ohio and Mississippi rivers between Pittsburgh and St. Louis. This is an example of a seven-night cruise on the Mississippi and Cumberland rivers between St. Louis and Nashville. On the Queen of the Mississippi of the American Cruise Lines. The Columbia River Two-fifths of the river's course some 500 miles, 800 kilometers, of its 1,240 mile, 2,000 kilometers, length, lies in Canada, between its headwaters in British Columbia and the U.S. border. The Columbia River is the largest river flowing into the Pacific Ocean from North America. It is exceeded in discharge on the continent only by the Mississippi, St. Lawrence, and Mackenzie Rivers. The Columbia River is 1,243 miles, 2,000 kilometers, long, and its largest tributary is the Snake River. Its drainage basin is roughly the size of France and extends into seven U.S. states and the Canadian province of British Columbia. By length the Columbia River is the 12th longest river in the U.S. The Colorado River is a little longer than the Columbia. The Snake River is the largest tributary of the Columbia River and is in 13th place at 1,040 miles. Together the Columbia and the Snake Rivers extend some 2,280 miles. By volume, the Columbia is the fourth largest river in the United States. 
ranking behind the Mississippi, St. Lawrence, and Ohio rivers. However, it is the greatest flow of any North American river draining into the Pacific. The mouth of the Columbia River near Astoria provides the first deep water harbor north of San Francisco. Cruises in the Pacific Northwest on the Columbia and Snake Rivers are offered by both the American Queen Steamboat Company and the American Cruise Lines. This is the 184 Guest American Song on the Columbia River. This is a map of the cruise itinerary on the Snake and Columbia Rivers from Clarkston, Washington to Astoria, Oregon, near the Pacific Ocean. This is the American Pride of the American Cruise Lines. This is the itinerary of the Columbia River Cruise of the American Cruise Lines. This is the American Empress of the American Queen Steamboat Company. This is the 184 Guest American Song on the Columbia River. Highlights of a Cruise on the Columbia and Snake Rivers. This is the itinerary of the Columbia River Cruise of the American Empress of the American Queen Steamboat Company. This is the American Pride of Clarkston, Washington on the Snake River. Magnificent scenery along the Columbia River. These are vineyards in Washington on the north side of the Columbia River. These are on southward facing slopes. So they get plentiful sunshine despite being up in the Pacific Northwest. Multnomah Falls is one of several waterfalls along the Columbia River Gorge. This is a view of Multnomah Falls. This is the fish ladder at Bonneville Dam, one of several dams along the Columbia River. Bonneville Dam is a major producer of hydroelectric power. River boats do not need docking facilities. They can just pull up on the riverbank, throw the lines out, and choke a tree. Mount St. Helens is just a short excursion from the Columbia River. Astoria, Oregon is where the Columbia River ends and empties into the Pacific Ocean. This is the mouth of the Columbia River and the Pacific Ocean at Astoria, Oregon in the distance is the Astoria Megler Bridge between Oregon and Washington. The Lewis and Clark Expedition reached their goal of the Pacific Ocean on the Columbia River near present-day Astoria. Upon viewing the Pacific Ocean, they exclaimed, Ocean in view! Oh the joy! The Lewis and Clark Expedition spent the winter of 1805-1806 at a fort they built called Fort Clatsop on the Oregon coast near Astoria. This is a reconstruction of Fort Clatsop on the Oregon coast near Astoria. This is the Lewis and Clark Interpretive Center at Cape Disappointment on the Washington coast, just north of Astoria. The cruise ends at Portland, Oregon. We will next have some short video clips of cruises on the Columbia and Snake Rivers. This is River Cruising on the American Empress. More than two centuries ago, a small group of men were charged with a unique and challenging mission to journey through the unchartered Pacific Northwest in search of an all-water route to the Pacific Ocean, all while surveying its abundant natural resources. Along the way, they discovered the majesty of the Columbia and the Snake Rivers. It truly took their breath away. Now, you have the opportunity to take a modern day voyage of discovery, just like Lewis and Clark, with luxury amenities and the comforts of home aboard the American Empress. You will delight in gracious service, elegant accommodations, and authentic experiences that have become synonymous with American Queen Steamboat Company River Cruising. 
From the scenic river towns and vineyards of Washington to the enchanting landscapes and free spirit of Oregon, it all begins aboard the American Empress. Whether you are looking for a luxury suite, a charming private veranda, or distinctive value, we have the perfect fit. Each of our rooms feature a custom-built hardwood entertainment center and spacious illuminated armoire. Fine linens, plush bedding, and a flat screen TV complete each space. Not only will you step back in time to an age when steamboats traversed America's rivers, but you return to an era when service mattered. Our all-American, highly trained staff takes genuine care to ensure that every request is fulfilled and every detail attended to. Our award-winning chefs carefully select the best seasonal and local ingredients. They prepare traditional recipes as well as unique creations that showcase the region's varied cuisine. Relax in the sophisticated Astoria dining room or savor the laid-back atmosphere of the River Grill and Bar and its panoramic views of stunning mountainsides. While on board, enjoy complimentary wine and beer with dinner along with cappuccino, espresso, bottled water and soft drinks throughout your voyage. The river is always carrying us to a new adventure and that's why we offer our exclusive hop-on, hop-off tours included as part of our vacation packages. Whether riding a hop-on, hop-off guided circuit, delving into a historic site, or making the most of an independent day in town, each port provides its own distinctive feel. You might even take advantage of our complimentary bicycles and helmets. And not all the action is on shore night after night. Top entertainers bring down the house in the show lounge. Or step into the paddle wheel lounge, an oasis where you can read a book by day, enjoy pre-dinner cocktails, or take in some late night entertainment. Rivers, like the intrepid spirit of Lewis and Clark, have a way of enduring. Come see the Pacific Northwest in all of its grandeur, aboard the American Empress. This is the Columbia and Snake Rivers with American Cruise Lines. In the great saga of the American West, one river called out the adventurers, the dreamers, and the believers. The mighty Columbia. The bountiful land of the West lured many. And the Columbia River, the original route of Lewis and Clark, became a corridor of transportation for giant paddle wheelers. Today, a new paddle wheeler carries this history on. American Cruise Line's Queen of the West. Queen of the West is an authentic paddle wheel driven cruise ship with a unique blend of elegant features found on the stately river boats of the 1800s and the modern safety features luxurious amenities, and impeccable service that American Cruise Line's passengers have come to expect. Cruising the Columbia and Snake Rivers aboard Queen of the West, passengers will discover a magical melding of scenery, wildlife, and history. The Columbia and Snake Rivers run from the interior of the country to the Pacific Ocean and are home to some of the most beautiful areas in the Pacific Northwest. Hell's Canyon is one of them. Deeper and more remote than the Grand Canyon, it is an awesome geologic marvel. Desert gives way to dense forests as American Cruise Lines enters the Columbia River Gorge a spectacular 80-mile river canyon cutting through the Cascade Mountain Range. Here, the canyon walls rise, waterfalls tumble, and unique rock formations like Beacon Rock tower above the river's edge. At 620 feet, Multnomah Falls is the second highest continuously flowing waterfall in America. The area is also home to the Mount St. Helens National Volcanic Monument, 
This is a rare opportunity to look right into the crater of an active volcano, one of the most dynamic landscapes in America. Astoria on the Pacific Coast is a cruise highlight. The Columbia River Maritime Museum has a world-class collection of nautical artifacts and is a tribute to all the mariners of the United States. Close by is Fort Clatsop, where Lewis and Clark spent the winter of 1805. American Cruise Lines provides more than a cruise. It's a voyage of discovery along a river system rich in history, culture, and scenic grandeur. You can now experience the beauty of the Pacific Northwest on the greatest river cruise experience in the world aboard American Cruise Line's Queen of the West. This is a journey to one of America's true natural treasures that will remain with you forever. To speak with a cruise specialist about your cruise with American Cruise Lines, call 1-800-460-4518. The Great Lakes. This show the route of a Great Lakes cruise between Toronto and Chicago. This is the Victory 2 of the Victory Cruise Lines. Here is a map of the Great Lakes region showing the states and provinces that border the Great Lakes. Note that Michigan borders four of the five lakes. The Canadian province of Ontario borders four of the lakes with the exception being Lake Michigan. Ontario is the only Canadian province that borders the lakes. Four of the five lakes form part of the Canada-United States border. The fifth, Lake Michigan, is contained entirely within the United States. The St. Lawrence River is the international border for a portion of its course. It is the primary outlet of these interconnected lakes and flows through Quebec and past the Gaspé Peninsula to the northern Atlantic Ocean. Lake Superior is by far the largest lake in terms of both surface area and volume, as well as the deepest. Lake Erie is by far the shallowest lake. The level of the lakes gradually decreases from Lake Superior at 601 feet above sea level to Lake Erie at 569 feet. And then after Niagara Falls plummets to the level of Lake Ontario at 243 feet. A major point on a Great Lakes cruise is a visit to Niagara Falls. The Niagara Falls are on the Niagara River as it drops down from the level of Lake Erie to that of Lake Ontario. The falls are on the international border between the Canadian province of Ontario and the state of New York. The Niagara River, including Niagara Falls, connects Lake Erie to Lake Ontario. A ride on the Maid of the Mist is a highlight of a visit to Niagara Falls as part of a Great Lakes cruise. The Welland Canal provides a path for shipping between Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. The Welland Canal first opened in 1829, but has been enlarged several times since then. This is a satellite view of the Welland Canal in the Niagara region. Ships can bypass Niagara Falls by means of the Welland Canal which was improved and incorporated into the St. Lawrence Seaway in the 1960s. The Straits of Mackinawa This shows the location of the Straits of Mackinaw on Mackinaw Island. The Straits of Mackinaw also separates the Lower Peninsula of Michigan from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Mackinac Island This is the MV Victory 2 and the Pearl Mist of the Great Lakes Cruise Company docked at Mackinac Island. Motorized vehicles have been prohibited on the island since 1898, except snowmobiles during winter.
emergency vehicles, and service vehicles. Travel on the island is either by foot, bicycle, or horse-drawn carriage. Mackinac Island is well known for its numerous cultural events and its wide variety of architectural styles, including the famous Victorian Grand Hotel. This is the entrance of the Grand Hotel on Mackinac Island. This is the front porch of the Grand Hotel said to be the longest in the world. A highlight is a visit to the Mackinac Island State Park. This is the transportation from the ship up to the Mackinac Island State Park and the Grand Hotel. This shows the location of Sault Ste. Marie and the Sioux Locks. This is a ship leaving the Sioux Locks. This is the Victory 2 entering the Sioux Locks. This is the viewing stand at the Sioux Locks. A highlight of a Great Lakes cruise is a stop in Detroit and the opportunity to visit the Henry Ford Museum. Toronto, either as the beginning or ending point of a Great Lakes cruise, has many attractions that make it worthwhile to extend the trip by several days. Similarly, Chicago, either as the beginning or ending point of a Great Lakes cruise, has many attractions that make it worthwhile to extend the trip by several days. We will next have some short video clips of cruises on the Great Lakes. This is Great Lakes Cruises with Victory Cruise Lines. The Great Lakes Waterway is supplemented by the St. Lawrence Seaway, which makes the St. Lawrence River navigable from Montreal to Lake Ontario. The two waterways are jointly referred to as the Great Lakes, St. Lawrence Seaway. The St. Lawrence Seaway and Great Lakes Waterway open the Great Lakes to ocean-going vessels. However, the move to wider ocean-going container ships, which do not fit through the locks on these routes, has limited shipping on the lakes. The St. Lawrence Seaway extends from Montreal to Lake Erie, and includes the Welland Canal. This is an eight-day cruise on the Hudson River, round trip from New York City, offered by American Cruise Lines on the American Star. The Amazon River
In Portuguese and Spanish the river is called Amazonas. Because of its vast dimensions, the Amazon is sometimes called the River Sea, o Rio Mar in Portuguese, and at no point is it crossed by bridges. The Amazon forest is one of the largest remaining continuous tracts of nature in the world. The biodiversity of the forest is one of the richest on Earth. Measured by length, the Amazon River is the second in the world after the Nile, in Egypt. We see that the Amazon, at 4,000 miles, is just a small amount shorter than the Nile. Indeed, by some measurements of river length, there are claims that the Amazon is longer than the Nile. These are the world's longest rivers. The Amazon is navigable for almost its entire length and provides an important commercial route through the continent. The main river varies between 1 and 6 miles in width. It is navigable for large ocean-going ships to Manaus, 930 miles upriver from the mouth. The Amazon proper is navigable to ocean liners of virtually any tonnage for two-thirds of its course. Transatlantic ships call regularly at Manaus, nearly 1,000 miles upstream. Smaller ships can reach Iquitos in Peru, 2,300 miles from the sea. That's the farthest point from sea of any port serving ocean traffic. Smaller river boats can reach 485 miles further. River steamers of smaller size can navigate on more than 100 of the larger tributaries. The Amazon River is the largest river in the world by volume, with a total river flow greater than the next top 10 largest rivers flowing into the ocean combined. At no point is it crossed by bridges. Viking Ocean Cruises, Amazon and Caribbean Adventure 13 Days San Juan to Manaus on the Viking Sea. We will next have some short video clips of cruises on the Amazon River. This is Amazon and Caribbean Adventure Itinerary on Viking. Then your Viking ship enters the estuary of the Amazon to explore the heart of the world's most famous river. Your first stop is Santarem where European colonial influences and native Tapahuara culture make for a fascinating visit. Further upriver in Parintins, you'll be introduced to the indigenous culture and their traditional music. Your journey concludes in Manaus, the largest city on the Amazon. With a two-night stay, you'll have plenty of time to enjoy its many wonders. Recommended video, pumping station at Kinderdeck in action. 54 seconds. Recommended video, Kinderdeck windmills, history in motion. 1 minute, 28 seconds. Recommended video, the mills of Kinderdeck 13 minutes, 12 seconds. Recommended video, Netherlands, polders and windmills, 3 minute, 38 seconds. Recommended video, Philip Friedrich Sulcher, The Lorelei, De Lorelei, 1 minute, 25 seconds. Recommended video, Vienna Sightseeing Truer Hop On, Hop Off Bus, 2 minutes, 6 seconds. Recommended video, How Can L Locks Work, 54 seconds. Recommended video, YouTube Navigation. A Journey Around the Rivers of America and Europe. Part 3. Table of Contents. Thanks for watching. Please watch some more of my great videos.